Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHeather.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the power saving management tool on your Huawei Mate S and improve the battery performance of the device. This is our Huawei Mate S and to use the power saving mode you have to go to the settings and look for the power saving mode. As you can see here it is under the device section here or you can also access the power saving mode from the phone manager application provided on the Huawei Mate S. You can see here is the power saving mode. So you can access the same thing from any of the option, either from the settings or from the phone manager. So once you are under the power saving option here, you can see it is showing 97% of the battery life, just 11 hour, 41 minute left. So you can get the idea that the battery performance of our Huawei Mate S is not so good so you need to use the power saving mode for sure <laughs> so the options which we are getting here are here is the power plans available for you the first one is performance so as you can see if i'm going to the performance it will adjust the performance of the cpu a bit uh, less and a bit more actually and because of that uh, I will get 11 hour and 4 minute of battery life that means the CPU performance is improving and so because of that the battery performance is decreasing right now I'm using the smart one and it's showing me 11 hours 41 minute as you can see here it will automatically adjust the CPU and network usage for balanced performance and if I choose the performance so the CPU performance is increasing, but the battery life is decreasing. As you can see here, now it's showing 11 hour, four minute left. If I go to the smart, the CPU performance is reducing a bit, but the battery life is increasing. And uh, there is another mode called ultra power saving mode. And as you can see here, it's showing, it keeps only basic call and message functions available. And uh, all of the features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi connectivity, and everything will be disabled and but it will increase the battery life up to 19 hours 28 minutes on the current battery charge so if I select this let's see what happens it's showing a pop-up message that the ultra power saving mode is going to be enabled and only calls message and access to contacts will be available so just tap on enable let's see so you can see that this is my home screen after enabling the ultra power saving mode i'm having just three options available that's dialer messaging and contacts and you can see that uh, the screen lock time is reduced the screen brightness is reduced the wi-fi connectivity is gone and uh, it's not showing me any other application or something and the background is turned to black as well to save the battery so this is what you will get after using the ultra power saving mode you can just exit it by tapping on exit and it will show a pop-up that you want to exit ultra power saving mode and after that it will be a normal phone as you can see here once again so if you go back to the power saving mode once again you can see it's selected as a smart by default after leaving the ultra power saving mode and we are having more options other than these three features you can customize and personalize the usage of the applications installed on your phone for example first of all you can go to the consumption label here and you will find that whether hardware and software how much they are consuming the battery so you can see for the software side it's 35% and each of the application is consuming how much amount of battery here. You can see the camera, base Mac OS 2, the Android Wear application, the messenger, and you can even stop them. If they're running, you can just select them and stop them from running. And here is the hardware where it's showing that the screen, the cell standby and all of those features, how much they are consuming the battery here. So you can get the idea that which particular application is uh, power sensitive and also the Huawei Mate is, is so productive that it will keep showing you that which particular application is consuming your battery a lot time to time by itself by popping a warning message on your screen and then you can close that particular application if it's running in the background and if you go to the 
protected apps section here just tap on it and you can see here is a list of all the applications which are uh, categorized under power sensitive uh, intensive or not and here you can use these sliders to activate them in the protected mode or not for example facebook is a power intensive application but still after that i have protected it and it will keep running in the background and the Huawei Mate is the battery management tool in this device will not close the Facebook because I have protected it even though it's a power intensive application so you can do this for all of these application you can see here for example messenger is a power intensive app but it's not protected so it will be closed by itself so if I just use this slider now it's protected and it will keep running in the background as well so it's totally up to you to select which application you want which applications are um, important to you so based on that you can select and protect them so you can see messenger will be closed after the screen is locked it just showed when i unprotected it and if you go back here there is another option called power usage firewall and it shows or all of the power intensive application which are running so you can see that the Google app is running right now and it's showing it's keep awake and here is the option to close it if you're finding that it's consuming your battery life just tap on it and it will be closed you can see that no power intensive in, uh, intensive application is running right now so this is how you can use the power management tool on your Huawei Mate S to improve the battery performance of the device and get few uh, extra hours of battery life and if you go to the settings here by tapping on this icon you will get few more features here that you can go to the history of power intensive application you can see all of these applications were considered as power intensive by the power uh, battery management tool of our Huawei Mate S and here is few more options like whether you want Wi-Fi on when sleeping while charging you can select whether you want it always uh, on or while charging or never and here is and option available for ultra power saving mode that uh, when you want to get a reminder to switch to ultra power saving mode right now it's eight percent that means when my battery level is eight percent Huawei Mate S will remind me that your battery level is very low and you should switch to ultra power saving mode to keep using your phone for important purpose like uh, making calls and receiving uh, messages so this is all about the power saving mode of huawei mate s which you can use to improve the battery performance so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this have a nice day